Let's do our angel cards for the week of July 7th through the 13th. And we've also got a new moon in the sign of Cancer. So I'm going to pull a couple extra special cards for those to kind of give us a little bit more insight into that new moon. So let's see. Okay, our first card is this one. Our second card is this one. And our third card is this one. Now I'm going to pull two more cards just for our new moon. This one is super vibrating and so is this one. So we're going to get some amazing cards out of here. Okay, so first off, for the week of July 7th through the 13th, our angels and guides are asking us for serenity. And this is all about that inner voice that we never shut down that just keeps going and going and going and going. This is all about bringing in serenity to ourselves, bringing serenity into the people around us. This is a very powerful card of just saying like, calm your mind. And a lot of this may come in with our next card of self-acceptance. Because a lot of times when we're trying to find peace, we're not really accepting what's really going on. And that's not just a self-acceptance, it's a self-acceptance of everybody around them. This is who they are. This is how they're dealing with things. So that can be an amazing energy as well. Now the last card for this week is Harmony. And this is going to be bringing in a lot of peace and harmony with basically serenity on one end of the week and harmony at the other end of the week our angels of guards are saying like we deserve the peacefulness we deserve this kind of peace and admiration and relaxation that we should be getting from everybody else but this is a great way to do that so it's kind of like well here we go now just for our new moon in the sign of cancer we have the two cards nature and divine guidance now our new moon is all of course it's a nature thing to have that new moon but our nature is to want those new beginnings and new starts and new ideas and that's what's coming in first to us but it's also about that divine guidance so many times people tell me like I'm waiting for my angels and guides to tell me what to do or I'm waiting for this to happen so I can do this the divine guidance is it's already open to you all you have to do is make a motion in that direction and things will start gathering that energy gathering in that motion of what's about to happen it's not like oh I have to wait for this to happen or that to happen I spent so many years and maybe you have too, waiting for things to happen and I didn't have to wait all I had to do was take power in that moment and move forward and that's what this divine guidance card is saying 